Fletch Vaughn and Megan, 21 minutes away from 8. We were going to do the 12 days of Fletchmas here, but um, the Prime Minister, Jacinda Ardern, joins us in studio early. Good morning. Oh, I'm so sorry. Is that why there's no chair or headphones? <laughs> or, <laughs> headphones. or any suggestion that you're ready? Oh, thank, you. thank you. No, 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 no. I'm just no, checking the warmth of my yourself. chair before I pass it on. No, no I have the cold chair. <laughs> no one wants to sit on a, like a warm, warm chair. chair. A warm chair is fine. A warm toilet seat is not. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. when you sit on a warm toilet seat, that is yeah. not cold. Right. Especially when it's like really warm. <laughs> yeah. That's Sorry, crazy. I've taken us to an interesting place. No, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> right off the get go. Headphones. Oh, Grab oh, his head. Here we well, go. Fantastic. Hey, thank you. You've got a um attractive new security guard. Is it a new security guard? <laughs> Which one is it? He's <laughs> <laughs> not new, but I'm sure he'll no, appreciate Jared it. Jared said someone did the bomb sweep before and they were <laughs> really... <laughs> oh, I can't have to check who that was. They were really something. <laughs> okay. You'll have to lovely. ask. We'll take, the Jared, take our producer Jared with you. He'll be able to identify the hot male that really <laughs> got him flustered. <laughs> Really got across there. Merry, um, Merry, Merry, Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas to you guys. What's, um, when do you like knock off? Finish. Or no, you don't really even knock off, do you? You're no, always... I'll, I'll have the phone with me the whole the whole time, but that's as it should be when you're in a pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> it's when you're a world leader and a country. Sorry, that was a bit jarring, wasn't it? <laughs> have you no, seen? I, I'm, I am aware we're in a pandemic. Yes, I, yes, I, yes. I have heard. Were yes. you invited to the Ministry of Health Christmas party? Because there's a TikTok of Ashley Bloomfield doing karaoke, La Bumba. It's quite something. <laughs> he undid so. all the good work <laughs> by dancing and singing Dad. La Bamba. And being, uh, he, if anybody deserves a Christmas party blowout oh, this year, it does. I would that say is it's true. Dr. Yeah, Ashley true. Bloomfield. I, I went to say thank you to everyone on Wednesday afternoon. Mm-hmm. That was not a Christmas party situation and there was no karaoke. Right. But yep. that was yesterday's right. Minister um, of Health. Good news, on them. news about the vaccine. We've got like four of them. We do. And, and look, we've done that because, as you will have seen, there's, there's a number of them in development and they are, as we're going through trials, some are really successful, some are less successful. Um, because this is happening so quickly, there's still the risk around whether they'll be delivered. So mm. we've we've gone for four just to give us some options. Mm. I'm just going to tell my children off. Can you stop playing with that? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, sitting here and listening to me. Well, no, I'm very then. excited. Well, no, no and it's... Andy did have a question for you. No, I did not. From you, what did your mum want to know? Um, no, you should ask it. You should ask you it. You should ask it. Yeah. You should. Um, mum wanted a new high school in Kimu. Ah. <laughs> well. That's an interesting request of Santa. Mm. I'd like a high school. A high school. Yeah. Well, do you know there's a lot of population growth out there? There is. So I wouldn't be surprised if the ministry constantly looking at where we might need new schools. I, I don't personally make those decisions. Right. About new schools. <laughs> okay. I'm sure but your I'll mother knew that on. too. I'll pass it on. Pass it on, okay. Do you have a question, August? No. Well, August oh. has turned her microphone on. Yeah, I know she turned it on like she was going to... That was there a real Tover O'Brien no. microphone turn on. No <laughs> questions, no questions. What have you, um, so what is, you got to have your phone on you, but what have you got planned for? Nothing. That's so good. Yeah, nothing. I'm. I no have, alarms. I have nothing planned. I have a lot of quality time with a two and a half year old planned. That's good. Right. Great. Have yep. you done any Christmas shopping? Have you had time? Um, I've done, it's, it's very piecemeal for me this year. Um, so I've basically uh, been ordering things online, trying to keep it Kiwi though, of course. Right. Yep, that's because I just haven't had a chance to yeah. to go shopping. Shopping at local, but online yeah. is a good way of doing it. Very what? awkwardly, one of the things I ordered got sent to the wrong place and I had to call a random stranger to say, I think you've got my password. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what, to, the like lovely, an to the lovely builder in Greylin. I'm sorry about that. Thanks for popping it in your letterbox. <laughs> and you like swoop past in a crown limo and you're no, like, I get sent, out, get that. Sent Clark to get a bit. He probably would have got a shock from that, from so that wee voicemail. <laughs> he, he had a parcel addressed to Jacinda Ardern. And what, it accidentally I don't went... think it was signed for. I think right. it might have just been left at his <laughs> So like, was it a, a joke? An old address, or they just got the wrong address? Uh, it, 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 without getting into too much detail, that gives it was just a one simple wrong thing that oh, sent it to the right. wrong place in the address. Yeah. Okay. Right. So when you buy things online, do you say send to Jacinda Ardern? Yeah, yep, yep. And how yep. many just notes do you normal, get in the just, parcels? Yep. 
Oh, some, sometimes. I yeah. Do. yeah sometimes. I feel like sometimes we count, order. Sometimes my countdown shopping will get a little note in it. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's nice. That's good. That's nice. Doing the shopping online and getting it delivered. Very handy. Yeah. Very yeah. handy. Yeah. So what would be your uh, what would be your message to New Zealand at the end of what has been quite the year? I feel like the 31st of December is going to be less of a celebration of 2021 and more of a a middle finger to 2020. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, my my message is just to say thank you. Uh-huh. you know, there's lots of chat about New Zealand relative to other places in the world, and yes, we have we have had amazing people who have helped get us here. You know, the scientists, the epidemiologists, amazing people. But none of it would have worked without Kiwis, uh-huh. because ultimately it takes everyone to stop a virus, and they've done that. And so I just say thank you. Awesome! Yeah. What an awesome. incredible country. We've got a we've got a gift for you here. Oh, sure. um, I believe. Can we come back after the break? We're going to come back after the break it's and give awkward. you a present. Yeah, because it, I you did gave notice, no warning. I did notice that you gave Mike Hosking a present and Duncan Garner. Well, that's because they warned me and they said oh, we're going to do right. a present exchange. Oh. But it's cri- it's Christmas. What? Hey, but oh. you know what, guys? Yeah. I do have three Mike Hosking's face masks. <laughs> wow. I That's what wow. everybody's always wanted. I am willing to secret Santa those. <laughs> All right. All okay. right. Okay, well, we're going to come back next and we've got a, a present for you. Thank because you. Because we heard that um, Premier House needed a spruce up. Needed, like, it's a bit dated, maybe. I haven't really talked about that too much. Other people have been talking about that. I'm mm. quite happy to have um, have a situation where it doesn't matter if Neve spills things. Yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah. You've got two and a half sure, you're like, yeah. situation. Take your beetroot sandwich in the lounge. What's the worst that's going to happen? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll come back to you with a present for the Prime Minister. Z-M.